Good evening. I'm saying evening time because it is evening time. As I am filming this one, I've just noticed an actual fact that I've not put the lights on that tent put on when I'm filming. So let's do that. Let's just brighten it up that little bit. Uh, I hope you are all well. I am filming this on the evening of Wednesday the 27th. It is just after 8 o'clock. And it's been a very, very busy day for me here in my craft room, just getting lots of prep and that done for things that are upcoming. So I just thought before I head downstairs, I had uh, I had the thought of something that I was going to create and film. And I thought, you know what? Let's just get it filmed now because it's all to do with our craft club. Now, when it comes to our craft club, I know not everyone is in it. However, it is something that has been exclusive to HSN America and QVC UK. Craft club is something that HSN themselves commissioned. And then therefore, of course, under the umbrella of QVC now, it is available in the UK. Now, of course, when it comes to the subscription base of it, HSN and QVC and HSN America, you guys, you get your subscription points. Uh, well, we've just had, if you are watching it round about the date that I'm filming this, you'll have not that long had the opportunity to enrol in the subscription once again. When it comes to QVC UK, then of course that's a rolling subscription that you're already in. And then we have had some of the uh, past subscription months available on QVC UK and the one that I actually thought of do you know what I've not played for for a little while and I had an idea a simplistic idea but quite a cool idea and I thought let's get it filmed let's get it filmed and it is of course with our Gildan Flakes because you know how much I love my Gildan Flakes so I'm going to bring in all of the bits and pieces that we've got within these ones here now when it comes to these ones I have got um all the bits and pieces now this is my set so then therefore uh lots of it has been open but let's have a little uh, dive through anyway just so that you can see what what it is that it entails because uh i'm not sure about q uh, hsn america but qvc uk it's still available uh, it's available on the website as it is date wise as when i am filming this so when i'm filming this today's been as i say wednesday the 27th of september as it stands at the moment it's still available as i'm recording now this was month number two which was all about the gilding flakes and techniques now it involves and revolves around your gilding flakes. Now it revolves around your copper, your silver, and also your gold as well. So these are the three that you're going to get. And then you're also going to get your iridescent glitter as well. Now these three, I haven't opened yet. This is my set, but I haven't opened these ones. And you might think to yourself, well, if that's the case, Craig, how have you been able to do techniques? How have you been able to do the craft club filming? How are you able to do this video if they're not being opened? And that's because when it comes to the Gildan Flakes, I have my original silver, gold and copper set that we've done from Spectrum Noir. Now, it's exactly the same tone. So instead of opening up my little tubs, and you're going to see it just shortly when I use them, I'm going to use the gold. You're going to see that I'm just going to use the gold for my original Spectrum Noir tubs. It's the same shade. Um, but that's why I've not opened mine yet because I want to use all that first before I go into kind of like my new pots. So that being said, what you're also going to get is your glue pen. You're going to get your little step-by-step -step inspirational guide for you to follow along with as well, should you wish. So you're going to be getting that one. What we're also then going to be giving you is all of these extras in here now you're going to get loads and loads and loads you're going to be getting all of these die cut sentiments and die cut shapes and these are actually what we're going to be using just shortly you're also then going to be getting some clear stamps and we're going to be using one of these sentiments as well now i'm not going to go through all of these in full detail because you have got the main video that i done when the first came out, the unboxing, and I'll actually add that link onto the description of this video so you can always go back to it. I'll add the link to this set on QVC UK, and before I pop this video out, I'll also check the HSN America website, and if it is available there, then I will make sure that that link's there available for you as well. But you've got your stamp set, you've got all of your black and white card panels, you're also then going to be getting your Gildan Flake set. Now, similar to 
my gilding flakes and my glitter. I've not opened up my set because I'm still using my original set from the Spectrum Noir tool bundle. So the only reason I've not opened my ones is because I'm using these. I don't want to open anything until I've used these ones up. So you're going to get them in there. Not only that, you're going to be getting some acetate sheets. And in actual fact, let's take one of these out because I'm going to need one of them. So you're going to get your acetate sheets. You're also then going to get some plastic stencils where you're going to get your mandala and your butterfly. You're also then going to be getting some printed paper as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these out because we're going to use one of these. Let's go for this pink white marble that we've got here. So let's go in with that one. We've got some of our double-sided adhesive tape as well. I'm not going to need any of that for this video. So I'm just going to pop that back in there. And then we're also giving you some of your adhesive sheets and I need one of them as well. So let's pop all them into here. Of course, they come all included within your pocket, which within your pocket can go into your craft club binder. Or of course, it can go into a standard size binder. And that being is you've got your main holes, but what you've also got as well, you've also got your additional ones. So should you wish to come along and put them into a different form of a binder, you can absolutely do that. So what I'm going to do is before we crack on, let's continue with the way that I like to go with these videos. And that's try and be tidy as I'm going along. I will also need a couple of these so let's take that i think i'll just need about one of the white if i am gauging correctly in my mind as to what i'm going to do so let's pop that in there and then we can then pop all that back into there i'm going to take my die cut shapes and for these, let's use some of these love hearts. So let's use some of these. Um, and probably, I'm just trying to roughly gauge. Maybe we need a couple of large and about three small. I'll pop them all away. If I need another one, I can always just go back into it. And I've got my stamp set that I, as I say, will be using. So let me pop all these bits out the way for now. What I will also need as well, let me just lean over to them. I'm going to bring in my circle nesting dies. So we're going to be using them as well. So let's take all of these. And what I'm going to do then is let's come along and I need a card blank. So let's go, probably thinking six, yeah, let's go six by six. So go with the six by six card blank here. And let me just take my burnishing tool and give it a burnish. Right, so let's, let me think what exactly it is I'm going to do, how I'm doing it. Let's take, let's do my mats and layers to start with. So let's keep, so that's five inches. So let's keep that black to five by five. And then what we're going to do with the white is we're going to trim down just a few, I would say a few millimeters. Let's give myself a little bit of a thin black mat and layer which I'm happy with that. That goes on to there. That'll be nice framework within my card blank. So, yeah. Yes. Happy with that. Happy with that. And then I'm going to come along with my pattern paper. Now, before I do any of this, I need to gauge the size of my layer. So let's do my... Let's bring in our double-sided adhesive sheets. Let's bring in our acetate. And then let's also bring in 
our die cut shapes. So let's take the backing off of our adhesive sheet. So if I take this one off into here, so let's try and get a hold of that just at the corner there. I cut my nails the other day, so I'm making it harder for myself. So let's peel that off. So this is my sticky side here. Now this non-stick backing sheet, never bin these because these are good for if you do your decoupage and you take all the foam pads off, you can then line them all up ready to go. Or of course you can use them for masking techniques. Then going to go in with our acetate, which has a protective backing. So if I take that off, and then I'm just going to line that up over the top. I'm going to do it as neat as I can. I'm not overly concerned because we're going to trim it off just shortly. So give that a really, really good press and burnish. Let's go in, press and burnish. And now for my die cut circle, I want to get a circle that's kind of like the same diameter as that layer. So let's try, oh, that might just be a little bit too big. Let's go in, yeah, that'll be fine. So if you're using your stitched edge circle nesting dies, I'm using the third one in. So what I'm gonna do within this one here is this is my acetate on the back and then I've got my adhesive covering over the front. It's really six and a half a dozen as to which way you do it. But I'm going to cut it so that I'm cutting into the layer that is my double-sided adhesive sheet onto the top. And then what I'm also going to do is take a little bit of my low-tack tape. Now just be careful with the low-tack tape because that's a non-stick surface, so therefore it's not actually going to tack to it that well. And because it's acetate and I've got my adhesive sheet, I'm going to go in with my metal shim when it comes to my G2. I'm going to go frosted, magnetic and top plate. So I'm going to use the full plate configuration for this because we've got that real thick plastic when it comes to the acetate as well as the protective backing of your adhesive sheet and the actual layer of adhesive. I want to go in with the full layer configuration but then also go in with the me metal shim. So if I take that away now, so let's move that out of the way. And then all that I'm going to do here is, I don't need any of this, I'm just going to snip that, get rid of that, and I'll just put that in my bag and I can always use that at some other point. So let's just give that another really nice burnish and then what we're going to do is we're going to prise away at the end. So we're going to take that backing off. Again, don't bin that because that's a non-stick backing. You can go on with your glossy highlights or your glitter glues, do your little dots in there, let them dry and then pick them off. But if we come along, I'm just going to put black underneath so that you can see it a bit better. We're going to go in now with our shapes. Now with the heart, the center heart, I'm going to try and keep it as straight as I can and central as I can and then within these ones here what we're going to do is let's just have a play so let's start to stick these hearts off the page here and then don't waste what you've got so we'll neaten that up just shortly but what I'm going to do is like the bottom of this love heart here but what we can do is we can then infill that bit there. And then this side of the love heart, what we're going to do is let's come into here and press. Just making sure we've got that nice clean edge of the heart over the edge of our layer. Then going to come along, let's go in with this love heart here. I think this might be a very good guess with what I needed. Yep. And then let's stick that on 
there. So then what I'm going to do is let's just roughly cut them. In case I do this technique again, they can just go back into the pack. And then I'm going to, I'm just making sure that I hold in the middle there because all this is sticky around the middle. So I'm just going to trim. And we're going to trim all the way around like so. So we're just neatening up those edges. So let's follow all the way around with these ones. As I say, neatening that up. Let's get rid of these little bits here. And then what we've got is we've got our circular topper with our love heart. I'm just going to go back over the top there and give all that a really, really nice press and burnish just to make sure that that's all nicely secure. Then what I'm going to do, so at this point, this is where you would come along with your gilding flakes and then pop that over the top. But as I said beforehand, I'm trying to use up my original gold gilding flakes from Spectrum Noir. So what I'm then going to do here is let's take this off here. And then we're just going to take our gold gilding flakes, either from the tub you've got or, of course, from your craft club tub. And we're just going to pick up the flakes here. And then we're just going to give that a rub off. So let's rub off that excess. And then where's my little black scoury pad? Hmm, where's it gone? Right, let's set that to the side for a moment. And then what we're going to do, let me find. If I can find... Kadok. What I'm looking for is not there. I was looking for another little scoury pad. But I can't find it. So let's and let me just take a microfiber cloth then. And then just rub all that excess. So we're just going to rub all that excess flake back into our container. So let's go in and let's rub all that excess off. Rub it off back into your container because we don't want to waste any, any, any little bit. And then once I've done that, again, either just be your little scourer or just your, whatever you're using, as long as it's nothing too sharp or too harsh. Give that a light rub. And then there we go. We've got our topper, our heart topper. And of course, because we've popped the hearts onto our adhesive backing, that's created that resist effect. And then the flakes have only stuck to the back. Then what we're going to do, and in actual fact, I should have done this before I popped the middle heart on, but this is flat enough, so it'll still work. I'm going to go in with my sentiment here. So let's take my stamping platform. And then let's just pop our discs. And then I'm just going to put Thank you so much. So that can go into the middle. And then I'm just going to use one of my alcohol proof ink pads. So this is just our Noir Black. 
And I'm using black because it's going to pull it in from the edge. Get that settled in. Press. Thank you so much. And that is now our sentiment into the middle. So let's just take some of that excess ink off. If you've got a stamp cleaner, you can use your stamp cleaner. And let's pop that one back into place. And then what I am going to do with this, and I do this quite a lot when it comes to stamped images. I've just gone in with Ice Grey Classic. So this is Ice Grey 2. You could use the Ice Grey 2 Try blend Illustrator pen. It's up to you. But it's Ice Grey 2 that I use. And then all that I do is go around the wording or the image or whatever the stamp design is. Create that little bit of a natural highlight around the edge. And then that is that. So now that I've got my, my image, I've got my topper, I know kind of what my layer size needs to be. So the width of that is just over three and a half. So let's say three and three quarters. So let's take my pattern paper and let's do three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Yeah, that's perfect. It gives me just a few millimetres or two side by side. I'm going to come in with another bit of the black, but this time I'm going to do just over three and three quarters. So again, I'm giving myself a really fine black matting layer. And I mean, that's really, really fine. But it's just enough to create that bit of lift. And then let's take that out of the way. Let's bring in our card blank. Let's also actually, while we're here, because we can see how that's going to start to layer up into the middle. So we do have a lot of white framework, but that is on purpose. And to me in the eye, that works. Although we are going to break it up ever so slightly in a moment. So let's do our insert. And because I don't know who I'm going to give it to and why I'm giving it to them, I don't know the sort of thank you insert that I'm going to pop inside. So therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it blank just now. So let's cut that five by five. And then let's cut that four and three quarters by four and three quarters. That can go into the middle. And that will be my mat and layer done for me to either come along at a later date and put another sentiment in there that's going to be more suitable. Or I can print an insert out and pop that in. Or what I can do is I can take one of my crafters companion inserts. I know they've been on QVC UK at some point and HSN America. So you've maybe got them. So let's take these ones off here and line that up there. And let's pop that in. Now I did explain in a previous video on my YouTube about mats and layers for inserts and I always use the darkest tone from the front of my card. So therefore the darkest tone from the front of my card is black so that's why my black or my matte and layer for my insert is black. And then let's bring these in here. 
We can pop that into the middle, press that in. And then we can then do these mats and layers. So very simple when it comes to the mats and layers and also the technique with the gilding flakes is very simple as well. Really the only extra that you will need are some circle nesting dies. So let's pop that into there and press that in. And then I tend to always do my mats and layers at first. So I combine all my mats and layers separately and then I'll attach them together. I also explained in a video because I'm conscious of the cautious of the fact that I've just done what I'm away to say, and that is there is no rhyme nor reason as to why I go round my mats and layers with my double sided tape or if I just go lengthways. No specific reason as to why I do either way. Sometimes it's just I'm not thinking. So there's my really, really fine black mat and layer that will go into there and then for this one what we want to do is we want to pop this on some foam pads so let's take these ones now foam pads will not be seen through your gilding flakes background but still I'm always in that habit of I'll always try and pop my adhesive somewhere that can't be seen. And although, as I say, like I've gone over there, it's not going to matter. It's not going to be seen. It's just something I've always done is just pop the adhesive where it can't be seen. And then that's going to go into there. Now, although this is a 6 by 6 card, this could very, very, very easily have been a 5 by 5 card or even a 4 by 4 card. So you can absolutely adapt the size of this and make it smaller. The only thing I'm going to do is we do have butterfly stamps within this set, but I have got a teeny, teeny little butterfly die. So I'm going to take this butterfly die and I'm going to die cut it out in black three times. I think that's going to work really well, just having three butterflies, either three or five or seven, nine, have an odd number. Last but by no means least, I'm going to come around that last one and pop that one into there, and then attach these. Now, even if you don't have the craft club kit, you'll be able to do all of this. At home, as long as you've got gilding flakes, you know, use your own pattern paper, use your love heart dies with your cardstock and die cut them out. So, again, before I commit to the stick, I'm just going to come along and let's just visually pop them where I want them to go. So let's go rough, just roughly. Give me a little idea as to where I want to go with them. Maybe I'm going to pull that out just a little bit more. Yeah, happy with that. And the only difference I'm going to do is this outer edge. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to attach these ones first. And then I'm going to take my art liner. So I'm going to take my Spectrum Noir art liner that came with issue number one, which was your memory albums. So 
So if I layer this one up and layer it up flat, and I'm going to go into the middle, just here. And then if I take my art liner, and this is something, don't overthink this. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to do a line and then I'm going to do a little scribble. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to cut. I'm just going to extend that line a little bit. I'm going to cross that over all the way down. Little scribble. It's like a little M. Turn it around. Do that again. And notice I'm not being straight. I'm not being specific. Twist. Turn. Like a little M. And then what I'm going to do at the other side is dot, 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 twist, dot, 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 twist, dot, 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 twist, dot, 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 twist. And that is just going to create a little bit of extra accent detail around the outer edge. So we can then take our tape now. This is what I mean by this time I've gone crossways with my tape and there's no specific reason for that so let's bring in our card here and then let's take back and off our pads let's go all the way around and then what I'm just going to do is get that into position. Get that central as I can. And press that in. And then let's come along with our glue. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the body. Hold that in with my pokey tool. And then let's come in with that one. So you might notice when it comes to things with like butterflies, certainly in threes, I have two going one way and then I have one going the opposite way. So let me just double check. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's press that in there. And then that is, I'm really chuffed with how that's turned out. Sometimes what's in my head doesn't always follow through. But I like that. Now, of course, I've done circle. It could be square, rectangle, triangle, hexagon, larger. If you want to, if you've got your own adhesive sheets and your acetate bigger sheets, you can do bigger ones if you want to. It could be the leaves and the copper. That would look lovely for, of course, the autumn time. But just keeping it very, very simple within the layers. Creating that little squiggle. And a nice additional technique for you to be using when it comes to of course our craft club that one was being month number two and it was all about guild and flakes technique so let's come a little bit closer for you for that light to capture it would look quite cool as well if you mix and match so there we go a little bit of a shorter technique but as i say it was just something that came in my mind and i thought i'll let uh, film it in a couple of days and then I thought, oh, no, I really want to get it filmed and getting it up tonight. So it is a very, very quick turnaround. Um, but I'm glad that I've managed to get it done. And uh, all that I need to do is now go and post it, which by the time you're watching it, I'll have posted it because you're watching it. You can't watch it if I'm not post it, can you? I know what I mean. I know what I mean. Anyway, there we go. There's a brand new updated technique when it comes to, of course, our uh, monthly craft club. And that one was month two. And all about the Gildan Flake.
Thanks. Right, I've got um, a busy day tomorrow. So if you are watching this within the day of Wednesday the 27th, as I am filming it, then uh, busy day tomorrow. So I shall uh, say goodbye till the next time when the next video comes up, which I've already got filmed and ready to go out after this one. Uh, have a lovely day, have a lovely weekend, and then, um, or just have a lovely week, depending on what day you're watching this. Don't forget, uh, hit that bell so that you're going to be notified whenever I pop up any other new tuition videos, and uh, give me a thumbs up too if you like this video. Don't forget as well, also subscribe. It's always good to subscribe. It's add me, add me to the subscription list on your YouTube. And of course, add any of these to your playlist too. That would be a massive, massive appreciation from me to you. Right, Teo, I will see you very, very, very soon. See you later.